In this season, we've already looked at how to use MDR data to set cure times, and we have tackled scorch safety with the Muni viscometer. Today, let's look at one of the most common lab measurements in rubber, hardness testing. Hardness is usually the first number you will see on a data sheet, and that's not by accident. It's quick to measure, it's easy to communicate, and it gives us a fast sense of how rubber compound will behave in service. The most common test is Shore A. It measures how resistant the surface is to indentation, and it's used for most general purpose parts like seals, o-rings, and gaskets. A harder compound will deform less under compression, while a softer one will conform more easily to surfaces. So hardness directly links to sealing, comfort, and flexibility. But what if your compound is too hard for the Shore A scale? That's when we move to Shore D. Now, Shore D uses a sharper indenter and a stronger spring, designed for hard elastomers, thermoplastic elastomers, and for polyurethanes. For example, if you are testing a rigid polyurethane wheel or a highly filled TPE, Shore A will max out around 90 and give unreliable data. Shore D extends the range, letting us measure those very stiff materials accurately. Then there is the IRHD, the International Rubber Hardness Degrees. This method uses a smaller pin and a more controlled measurement system, which reduces operator variation. That makes IRHD especially valuable in labs and in industries where specifications are tight and repeatability is critical. Finally, we have micro-hardness testing. This is used for very thin products like gloves, membranes, or thin sheets. A regular Shore A or D or IRHD test would distort the whole sample and give false readings. But micro-hardness instruments are designed to measure those delicate materials without collapsing them. So why do we measure hardness so much? Because it's one of the fastest indicators of how a compound will perform in service. Hardness tells us about stiffness, sealing ability, comfort, flexibility, and low bearing capability. It's one of the easiest quality control checks. It's fast, it's simple, it's practical, whether you're in the lab or on the factory floor. To wrap it up, Shore A is the workhorse for general rubbers. Shore D covers very hard elastomers and TPEs. IRHD gives you precision and repeatability and micro hardness is essential for thin samples. That's why hardness is measured so often. It's the quickest window into how your compound will feel and perform. That wraps today's episode from the Toolbox series, My Rubber Heart.